Many people believe that there are two types of electricity. One is found in the circuits and the other is known as static electricity. Many people know this from brushing their hair. This type of electricity was discovered a couple of thousand years ago and was known as the amber effect. This property is now called static electricity. It was known to the philosophers of ancient Greece. In fact, the word electricity comes from electron, which is the Greek name for amber. Amber is a resinous material used to make jewellery. Here is a lump of amber supplied by the geological expedition specialist UKGE.com. Amber is a piece of fossilised tree resin. This is a piece of amber with a polished side to help us do this experiment. Amber was used as jewellery for many thousands of years. It is probable that small fibres of clothing clung to these amber jewels and were quite difficult to remove. Trying to rub these fibres off made the situation worse, causing the early philosophers and scientists to wonder why. The first recorded experiments were of rubbing amber on cat fur. Here we are reproducing this experiment using amber and some wool. How this works is known as the triboelectric effect, and this has to do with something called electron affinity. Electron affinity is where the substances can hold on to extra electrons or not. Amber is a material that responds very well to this rubbing. See how the bits of paper stick to the amber. A better substance to play with is a man-made substance called ebonite. We can look at this effect easier by looking at two sticks of ebonite. One of these is suspended by a piece of thread and the other is brought towards it. As the two ebonites have the same charge on them, they repel from each other. Benjamin Franklin in the 1700s was the first person to assign the plus and the minus charges to these items. Franklin was also the first to confer, and correctly, that there was only one type of charge needed in order to explain all these observations. There is the same charge on both of these rods, and as we see here, light charges repel one another. With a better understanding of what's going on, we can now see that static electricity and conventional electricity are two ways of looking at the same thing. There are not two forms of electricity, but only one. And in the other videos we'll explore what was perceived to be the other type of electricity.